Hi guys and welcome to the video today, I'm Skelix S6 with me and today we are going to install and review the Lineage OS 14.1 for the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. So I will split this video into two parts, so in the first part I'm going to show you um, what this ROM includes, how it looks, what features it has, what the bugs are and so on, and in the second part I'm going to show you how to install this Lineage OS ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S6. So now let's start with the um, review of this ROM. So first of all this ROM is really stable, so I'm quite sure many people, uh, almost all of you should be able to use this ROM as your daily driver so it hasn't got any big performance issues they are not big bugs you know the only big bug is the um, WhatsApp voice message so it does work but it does not work that nice you know and another bug is that it can get laggy if you charge your phone so here I have a phone charger and if we connect our charger with our phone you can see that it, it gets a bit laggy sometimes as you can see now it's not that um, smooth okay now it's now it's still smooth but sometimes it can get really laggy if you charge your phone and yeah so this ROM is based on Android 7.0.1 so this is the latest Android version the Lineage OS version is 14.1 uh, you can see the Android security patch is the 5th of May 2017 of course and right so I as I've already said this ROM has uh, quite less bugs so the fingerprint scanner and all that is working just nice um, right here you can see the uh, Lineage OS um, app, app driver here so the camera is also working quite okay on this ROM so here you can see that you got a different kind of camera here so this is not the standard uh, camera you get on Lineage OS this is a different one here and now let's try to take a picture with it here and here you can see that the uh, quality of the pictures which we have taken are quite okay so it is not the best you, you won't get the best camera experience on this AOSP based ROM but you know it's still uh, okay for your daily usage and yeah so these are all the apps which you get so you don't get that many apps so this ROM is really minimalistic compared to TouchWiz based ROMs let me decrease the brightness here so here you can see that you got um, this browser of Lineage OS which is quite slim here so it has quite less options and it's not that stable so I would prefer to use the Chrome um, the Chrome browser instead you get the audio FX the calculator and all that the clock the contacts and all that but the thing is um, that this ROM uh, opens the apps really fast so if you go into settings here you can see it was really fast and if you close this app here so as you can see it is not opened in the background and if you open if you if you open the settings again you can see it is really 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 fast so this is uh, something which is really amazing on this phone of course other apps are also really amazing too so uh, in terms of speed and uh, Right, so you also get something called uh, something like a ROM control. So the ROM is called the Nexus here. Um, here we get some small um, ROM control options. So there are not a lot of options. So here we have the um, battery um, thing here. So you can um, change the limit of the charging here, which is a quite strange option here. Um, you also can you can also enable this always on fingerprint scanner so even if the screen is turned off you can basically turn on your you can unlock your phone with the fingerprint scanner it's also working really nice here and uh, right here you got also some uh, small um, power options and yeah so this is pretty much it so it's really minimalistic here too and right so let now let's get into the settings app here. So here in the settings app you can see you got all that standard features. Here in the display option you have the um, adaptive, adaptive brightness here which is also working quite okay. You got the ambient display which is also working really nice on this ROM. And you get also the um, display size here. You can make everything big here, you can make it smaller 
which is really amazing and yeah so now let's go back here you also get um, something called buttons so here you can change the um, actions of each hardware button you can also enable or disable uh, the hardware buttons if you don't like them and yeah so here we have the home button and if we uh, tap two, two times on there so now let's say a recent app switcher and if we double tap there we can see it will go to the recent apps panel which is also really nice so you can basically change the actions of each hardware button in the settings you also get something called status bar so here you can basically customize the status bar of this rom you can enable or disable quick pull down the brightness control here so if you enable this one here you can basically direct you can uh, change the brightness control from here which is also really um, funny and yeah you can change the position of the clock now let's say uh, left here it looks much better in my opinion you can also center the clock just like an AO, uh, ios you can uh, you can uh, enable or disable the am or pm style here or this small indicator there um, you can change the size of it so now let's say small and yeah you can also change the battery state to style as you can see it is a uh, circle right now but you can also enable this normal um, portrait icon and there you can also show the battery percentage next to the icon or inside the icon and all that uh, standard stuff so this is pretty much it here so lineage os is basically a normal ro normal rom which hasn't got that uh, much customization options but you know it's um, enough for everything and yeah now let me show you how to install this Lineage OS on your Samsung Galaxy S6. So to install this ROM you need to download the ROM at the first place of course and after that you also need to download the G apps. So you need the G apps to get the Google to get all the Google stuff working on your device including the Google Play Store and yeah so download both things from the description of this video and paste them to your phone and after that you need you need to power off your device and after that you need to go to the recovery mode so to get into the recovery mode you need to press the volume up button the home button and the power on button at the same time but first wait until this phone is turned off and then press all three buttons at the same time Here in the team and, the team and recovery project you need to go to the vibe option first and perform, perform a vibe, just swipe to flash, uh, to wipe your phone, sorry, and, and after that go to the install option and locate the ROM, so in my case it's here, just press on it and swipe to flash. So after the installation is finished you need to go back and go to the install option again and flash the G apps now. So in my case the G apps uh, are located in the downloads folder, just get in there and um, press on it and swipe to flash. So after the installation of the GApps is completed, you just need to reboot to the system and this could also take a few minutes, you just need to wait. The, the phone boots it up now and it asks for your SIM pin. So set, no, let's, so let's set up our pin here. So this is basically it here. Here we have the um, setup menu of Lineage OS. So you just need to set up your phone. 
and yeah so this was basically it if you liked the video give a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give a dislike and peace out